Um, he's not wrong. Uh, I think it really comes down to uh, being doubted, to be honest with you, and people telling me I can't be something, but I really know like who I am and who I do it for. So I always ask myself who I do it for, and that's, that really just brings confidence uh, to my play, to, to my everyday life. Who do you do it for? Uh, I do it for my family, my little brothers, uh, because I've been in their spot. I know they've got people telling them they can't do what they're doing, but I truly do it for the man upstairs because I wouldn't be here uh, without him. So I, I live for him. Yeah. How different is, is this offense compared to the high school that you should so just very vanilla bubble screens and that type of thing? Yeah. To, to get to run all these different route combinations, how much fun are you having just because you're branching out? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot different than high school. Um, in high school, you, like you said, it was a lot of bubble screens, so I couldn't like show exactly what I could do. That's why uh, to get recruited, I really had to like go make films of me actually running routes, and here I can truly utilize running routes with Coach Hyde's offense. So as a, as a prospect, what's it like being recruited and committing to one coaching staff and then having another one be who's going to coach you at UT? Uh, yes, sir. So. Uh, I committed here uh, right when COVID hit, and uh, I was on spring break, and I was pumped. I loved uh, the coaching staff. Uh, I came in, and two days later, uh, I hear that the coaching staff's gonna change, and I, I really like called my parents, and I was kind of upset, but my dad was just like, uh, everything happens for a reason, and I, I truly just wanted to stay at where I was, I believed everything happened for a reason and really just trust whoever came in and it was Coach Hype and his staff and it's been wonderful so far. So what specifically makes it wonderful, Coach Hype, or Coach Burns, everybody? Uh, well, they came in, so Coach Burns, uh, he's a great coach. Uh, he, he lets you know how it is. And I, I really think that's, that's uh, good because when you do something wrong and he tells you how, like, oh, that was for example, I'm not gonna say it like he says, like that that wasn't good, or like you need to do this. He'll let you know. So like in your head, you're like, I, I gotta get it right this time. So he pushes you to be great at each and every rep, uh, even outside of football. But as well, Coach Hype, I mean, on the field, off the field, he's the same person. So he, he he's true. How much did you know about Coach Hype and Coach Burns when they were hired? Did you did you see um, that from Auburn at all? Coach Hypel, not not so much. Uh, Coach Burns. Uh, I knew him from Auburn. He was a receiver coach at Auburn. Did you start doing research on, on the offense? When you I did, yes, sir. What was some of your initial reactions? So when I uh, saw the um, who the coaching staff was going to be, I, I was like, oh, i got to look into it because I want to see what it's going to be. And I, I saw that he's got a fast-paced offense, gets the ball in the air. So, I mean, I was just sitting there, like, kind of excited. Like you said, in high school, I didn't get much of that type of stuff. And now I can go out and show what I, I really can do. What makes it so difficult to process this offense in real time? Um, how the speed of it, uh, just like getting lined up again and again and again and getting your eyes to the sideline, getting the play call. You had the knee injury in the spring. Are you 100 percent? And how tough was some of that, that rehab work? Uh, yes, sir. So rehab that was a big part of my uh, daily routine. Uh, pretty much lived in the training room, which. I, I liked because like I know what I want to do and I, I want to get back be able to play with my brothers so it was something that I really had to like focus on. Did you feel like you set yourself up pretty good about how you did in the spring and you wanted to make sure you didn't kind of lose ground or make sure you capitalized on what you did? Uh, I, to be honest I didn't think much like that. Uh, I thought more of just uh, I need to get healthy, uh, be out there uh, so I can I don't know, be successful. Uh, hopefully my brothers can make plays, I can make plays. but. Just get back. Well, what's that competition at receiver like right now? I know there's a bunch of bodies there, a bunch of guys competing for bunch spots, of, but at yeah. the end of the day, maybe only four or so can go out there at a time. So, right. what's that competition like? No, it's great. I mean, we got some great receivers. Uh, Callaway, Hyatt, uh, in the slot position specifically, but they're, they're two great, really good receivers. So, I'm just glad to be in the same spot as them, uh, really just seeing how they play, uh, take away from what they can do so I can pull it to my game. But yeah, we've got some great receivers. Are you mostly in the slot? Uh, yes, sir. Are you moving around at all or they kind of got you locked in there? Uh, pretty locked in there for right now. But Coach Burns, he wants to make sure that we 
know every position. So. How would you describe your game? I'm sure you're used to the uh, Cole Beasley type comparisons. How would you, you agree with that comparison, or how would you describe your game? Cole Beasley's a great player, but uh, I like to uh, try to mimic my game after like a Justin Jefferson type player. Um, that I mean, uh, my play. I think I've uh, naturally good hands. Uh, my route running's always got improvement. Everything's got, I, I do has got improvement. But uh, I probably are, are those things you just mentioned. Why you would kind of compare to Justin Jefferson? Uh, yes, sir. He's also someone I look up to because he's such a he's a young dude, great player, uh, one of the highest ranked receivers as a rookie. So I just like you see someone be successful, you really just want to be like. How's One more question. How's how Jimmy Callaway done so far? Because yeah. Chris Burns has a good thing to say about him. Yeah, impressed. he's a great player. Uh, everything, everything he's doing, uh, really just, even as a player, I see improvement from Jimmy. Uh, he's fast, uh, smooth runner, great route runner. He's really like um, learning the option game for, for sure. Yes, Thanks, Walker. Thank you, Walker. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you.